So here's a follow-up video um, showing how I'm doing the soaking. So again, I have this all apart, you know, with the pigtail here connected up behind there. And I had this actually, this is upright right now, but I had it down over the sink so that my ports would empty into the sink rather than spill everywhere else. And I poured this into this end since it's higher. And by the way, my first video, I erroneously said this was a valve that would stop it from coming out. Duh. No, it's simply a flow sensor that tells these guys to fire when it can tell that you're trying to demand hot water. Because the cold comes in here and goes, you know, through here and up out here. Whoops. You know, through the two heater cores and then out through here. And it only wants to turn this on when it says, hey, they want hot water. So it starts doing cold. This says, oh, tell the control module to give um, these guys the current. They turn on the voltage and it superheats the water as it goes through. So, yeah, this is not a open and close valve. Sorry about that. Um, wasn't thinking straight. That's just a flow sensor. So it does actually pour out there. Um, so what I thought was if I have it laying down, um, it will probably only have this about half full because it'll start running out here when it gets, you know, to the height where this tube is laying down. So I thought, okay, I better bring it upright so that I have as much, you know, this whole area is now filled with vinegar and ideally it should be, you know, all the way to the top. But, um, and, and you've seen people on some of their videos that have a, pump system that's a closed system where they pump vinegar through and that's the best way um, and ideally I could put you know bypass valves on here and so forth but it just wasn't the kind of piping I have it was just like difficult to do so I decided not to do that when I installed it but obviously now I kind of wish I did but it wasn't that difficult to get this off and if this works you know this isn't too bad so again I fill this with vinegar and I don't know if you can see but if I tilt it this way there's it shows a little bit of, no, it's not really showing, but it, it shows some spillage. And so that means that it's mostly filled both tubes. If I tilt it that way, this will spill out. So like I said, I poured it in here, the high end, until it started coming out there. And then I put it upright and then filled some more until it started coming out there. And then I put it, I'm propping it up just to hold it up. Otherwise it would fall down using the vinegar itself to hold my um, cutting board. So I have my timer set, and uh, after an hour, I'll empty it out, do it again, probably do it three times. Might even try to look, you know, fill it in a mug or something just to see what the water looks like. It might show scale. Um, so wouldn't hurt to look and kind of see if the third time is going to be enough. So anyway, a little follow-up video to show you what I've done, and uh, maybe I'll... Uh, I'll certainly comment whether or not it was successful. All right, thanks again for watching. God bless.